So if you've been watching my channel recently, you've probably seen a T-Dub sitting on its side in the driveway. But here's what I did to get it going again. Alright, so I just replaced my oil seals. This is what I did to pull them out. Some of these are rubber, so I basically drill a little hole into them, used a screw, and pulled them out that way. And replaced them all. That's basically what I did for all of them. Replaced the output shaft, the shift seal, and that one. I don't know the nomenclature for that one. Wish I had this oil seal kit yesterday when I had everything apart, but it is what it is. Here's the stator wiring I fixed yesterday as well. Alright, let's get everything back together. So today's gonna be a T dub day because my Kawasaki. I just put brand new tires on. I got a 241 front and the Motaz Tractionator Adventures in the rear. Went to take it for a test ride yesterday and the brake line ruptured in my driveway. So I'm like, hmm, that's nice. I also put on this little wireless charger. I ordered it off of Amazon. I'll put it a link in the description. It's basically the same one on the Kawasaki. Just a different company. It probably came from the same warehouse. The only thing I don't really like about it with this Pixel 6 Pro, got this little camera bump here and this little button's kind of tiny so you have to like really push down on the phone to get it to clamp in. Okay, for the T-Dub subscribers, this one is for you. The ones that haven't unsubscribed yet. I had a lot of people unsubscribe lately. Good wheelie, start off the day. Why is it not shifting? Why is it not going in the second? Oh, I see, I need to bend out my shift lever. Oop, here we go. Let's get out of here. Shit. Damn. My bike stopped running. Oh. dude I think I know what's wrong I know exactly what's wrong I think it's that stator wiring at least I kind of know what's wrong with it for the most part damn dude it's Sunday I haven't rode yet actually I take that back I kind of rode yesterday <sighs> here we go again <laughs> okay you can call me stupid as hell in the comment section as much as you want. I will allow it. Crisis averted. So I forgot and I had the gas tank off last night to put the, do the wiring for this. I forgot to put this little hose back on. All right, and the petcock was off too. Slide that hose down on the, turn her on. Now we should fire. I am st stupid, dude. Okay, let's try that again. I totally forgot I had that gas tank off last night. Here we go. Classic T-Dub maxed out at 30 miles an hour going uphill in fifth gear. If you're not in a rush to get anywhere, the T-Dub is so much fun. But when you're on a time crunch, it's kind of like a pain in the ass on the T-Dub. All right, let's get some miles logged at 30 miles an hour. 19,603 miles, so close to 20K, dude. I bought this thing basically brand new. It's a 2017. When I picked it up, it had like 20 miles on it. Oh. I've had this thing for... At the end of 2019, that's when I picked it up. With the first year of owning it, I put 12,000 miles on it. Uh, this year, yeah, last year, I didn't really get that kind of mileage because for for a while the bike was apart. I blew up the engine in that Vegas in that Vegas video I made. 
so I was waiting on parts for a while so I probably logged like 6,000 and now owning the, the KLX2 I'll be honest I basically bought the KLX just to save this bike because that bike can do the miles well that bike can do highway speed just fine when I'm on this thing doing 55 I'm 55 60 it's basically almost redlining it so that's that's what destroyed the engine in the, the first time around redlining it for 12,000 miles in a year all right we are over by welding getting off the highway again because I'm getting blown past everyone's flying by me but now we're on the trails so airframe be all right now dude this is sick oh trash dump I hate when people do this shit man yeah all these places to dump your trash but no this is find a ditch near the highway here's a little roller Woo! <laughs> here's another little roller Woo! <laughs> man I've been missing this little bike yeah the KLX can do the same type of riding and it's a better but the thing is just stupid fun dude dude I'm basically right there like where those trees are in front of me that's basically that's basically the star of where Lake Isabella is for the most part all right here come all the big boys there's some big boys as close I'm gonna get. Hey feller. I'm just passing through. He, he looks kind of startled. I'm gonna turn off. Oh I'm sorry. I was about to turn around anyways. Just a farm bike out on the farm. The T-Dub was designed to replace the horse around the farm. It's, it's legit North America's last farm bike <laughs> this is crazy dude i just love this thing and then people realize oh it's got a really short first gear and big tires this would be a pretty cool off-roading bike and there we are now perfect day for t-dubbing right here dude oh man this is awesome it feels so it feels so good getting back out on the scene like yeah it's a grind when you have to do highway speeds getting to places but when you're finally out there where you need to be on a t-dub the scene's just awesome dude i'm gonna cut over to the right uh, someone might be coming the other way maybe i doubt it but i hate being on a blind corner on the inside it's always the worst spot Woo. a bit of sand T Dub's still running strong. I had that scare this earlier today. <laughs> I thought my stator wiring was messed up again. I was literally about to take off the cover, then I realized the uh, fuel, the fuel line to the car was off and the petcock was off. I'm like, huh, oh, there's my sign. I'm just out of gas in the car. I'm not getting fuel. Troubleshooting a, a bike or quad or any toy, I guess. You want to think about fuel air spark yeah that two lane trail kind of turned into a cattle trail right here i see the lake maybe we'll just follow this little cattle trail here it's kind of fun actually not gonna lie thank you cows for making this nice little trail for me actually these cows did a good job with this trail i'm impressed a little bit of mud dude should we partake in a little mud action Hmm. I suppose. <laughs> Ew, yeah, dude. Kind of want to ride to that little point right over there. How soupy is this stuff here? Soupy soup? Kind of committed now, I guess. 
<laughs> this is like that Mario Kart or that one level where you're just hopping from island to island. I'm sorry cows, but I need to pass through. Come on, big boy. I'm sorry. Hey, buddy. These old calves. Or one's a teenager. <laughs> I love calves, man. They're so cute. Okay, here's a here's that road I was talking about. There's a couple jeeps. Oof. Uh oh. Hmm, I'm gonna stay right her. Oh, that wasn't bad. It's usually a good amount of fish down in here. In this little river. The T-Dub is honestly the perfect bike for this. What I'm doing right now. It's cruising through the farms. All the ranches. Playing in the woods. Playing on the beach. That's what the T-Dub's all about. Yeah, the stupid front tire, the Dunlop 606 on the front. It sounds like a Stuka siren. <laughs> All right, we're just coming into Kernville now. I totally forgot about my fuel situation. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't hit reserved yet, but probably in the next mile or two. Fucking neck beard, come on. <laughs> come on, you fucking entitled. This might be a good spot to park. We'll see. Sure. <laughs> I'm a Harley rider now. <laughs> Hell yeah. So after scoring some chicken tendies, it was time to enjoy Whiskey Flats 2022 here in Kernville. Hell yeah. It's my favorite little park in this area. Screw the town, this is the best spot right here. A couple mallards. Meep, 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 meep. How warm is this? Ooh, that's cold. Couple months to be swimming. Probably two, three months be time to swim in this, but now it's too cold. So when I'm out alone in the trails or in the woods on my bikes, that's where I feel like I should be at. But in this crowded little town with all these people from all over the place, I just felt super out of place. So it's time for me to leave. Loser! You're a loser! All right, let's do a little Cyrus Canyon action. Haven't been out this way in a while. Dumbass kid. <laughs> I gotta keep an eye on that phone mount. Let's do that little trail, huh? 
Oh, that sign. That sign said no vehicles. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. That was. Ugh. Here we go. I'm gonna roll her over. I don't want to bottom out. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna roll the jumps. I don't wanna. If you get airborne on a scene, it's just gonna bottom out. Blowing berms on a T dub. <laughs> Please don't cut in front of me. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> that was fun, dude. Here's a good overlook of the of the park here. Cyrus, actually a really fun park. My loadout isn't really set up for this. Plus I'm on a T-Dub too, so it's not as fun. But if I was on a Kawasaki, I could hit most of these jumps. One, dirt bikes are fun and all, but you're just kind of confined to the riding and designated riding areas. Where on a dual sport or a plated bike, Dumbass kid again. <laughs> one, the saying is quiet, but two, like, you can't just turn one way and then look the opposite direction. That's just not smart. <laughs> okay, while well, I was getting my thumbnail, I spotted this little single track line down to the lake. Kind of want to try it out. Okay, let's follow this line. Here we are. <laughs> we are. I love it. I love it. To be fair, I did not see any signs saying I couldn't come this way. I'm not hurt nobody, just passing through. I'm not making a scene. I am pretty ugly though, so I might be, but. Hidden rippers right here, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah. I honestly kind of felt out of place in town in Kernville. It's just a big, it's just a big Harley meetup. And the T-Dub just kind of felt out of place. But out here, this is where the T-Dubs, this is where the T-Dub fits in right out here, man. Out alone, middle of nowhere. Damn. First gear evolution. That way was a dead end, unfortunately. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> I love this bike, dude. I could just do stuff like that all day and just pop out. <laughs> <laughs> just pop out like nothing happened. Just keep going. <laughs> awesome. Goddamn Stuka siren going off. Let's take a rip down the lake again and make my way east at home. Yeah, this, this bike is slow, but it's hands down one of the most fun bikes I've ever owned. I will forever have a T-Dub in my garage or in my driveway. Uh, You're not living life if you don't have a T-Dub, man. <laughs> or it doesn't have to be a T-Dub. Not living life if you don't have a dual sport, really. It's dual sport, you just have so much fun, man. Especially out here. I would love to take my camper out more often and just set up at places like this for a weekend. But gas is too expensive for me. I can't afford it. Back on the lake. Just like that. God, this bike is just so much fun, dude. I love this thing. Full speed ahead, boys. Oh! I'm actually going to head eastbound. Oh, this is an old road. Look at this. Usually this is all underwater, but now that they're working on the dam, water levels are 
way low. But out here, this is where this is where I'm right at home on the T dub. I'd rather be out here alone on my little bike than at some biker bar just sitting on sitting drinking away, wasting my time, dude. This is this is where you're living life right here. Hell yeah. <laughs>